I'm Sarah Kustak. We got Andrea Kramer with us, Swing Cash, Didi Kinkabwala. And it, it's, I'm looking at a bunch of seasoned veterans <laughs> with a lot on your resume. <laughs> it's but seasoned a polite way of saying old. We're, are you aging? I like us? seasoned. I like seasoned. seasoned. That works for you. <laughs> Veteran <laughs> experience. <laughs> experience. But guess what? We're going to take you all back to your, your rookie seasons because we're going to talk about some of these new experiences. We're in the So, Swin, I want to get to you first. You were drafted number two overall. You were coming off a tremendous career at UConn. Uh, tell us a little bit about your rookie season as a WNBA player. Yeah, so think about it. She's very direct. She's going to push you very hard. She's going to jump in the drills. Talk about what this, her style was like versus has she defended you one-on-one -on -one yet is my question. Though. <laughs> no, but she's made me defend her one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> I love it, love How's it. How's it gone? It was, it was just for a drill, so. Has she defended you one-on-one -on -one yet is my question, though. <laughs> No, but she's made me defend her one on one. <laughs> I love it. Love How's it. it gone? It was it was just for a drill. So you even had last season for you. What's been the biggest uh, point of acclimation and adjustment for you going from the college game to the pro game? Name to the WNBA All Star game. What does that mean to hear people talking about you and about your game and what you can do for this league? He's a legend, a, a WNBA legend, a legend in the game of basketball. Candace Parker saying words, Becky Hammond, the list goes on. Um, but for you, when you were NBA and what it's meant to have a platform, not only on the court, but also off the court, especially the history of the dream and what they've been. So much fun to watch the league continue to grow, the exposure, uh, the dollars being invested in it. When you look at those that you've played against, teams you've played against, is, is there any players that you have been most excited to match up with here in this rookie year? Um, able to share a court with them before they leave the W. Only the beginning for you, Ryan. We certainly appreciate your time. We have loved watching you. We can't wait to get 10 new NFL coaches this season and get their takes. So, you all ready? Okay, so we it's an overreaction ready. or a reality. Got it. Yeah, you, you'll get the gist. You'll get the gist. All right. TV. New Orleans Saints. Let's start with, with, with the Saints. Uh, okay. Dennis Allen will get to the NFC Championship game. Overreaction. Yes, that 10 new NFL coaches a season and get their takes. So, you all ready? Okay, so we it's an overreaction ready. or a reality. Got it. Yeah, you'll, you'll get the gist. You'll get the gist. All right. TV. New Orleans Saints. Let's start with, with, with the Saints. Uh, okay. Dennis Allen will get to the NFC Championship game. Overreaction. Yes, that's... Oh, look at you, Andrew. You're, so, you're such a pro. I about that. Uh, Todd Bowles will be a different head coach the second time around. If the second time... That's to another New York team, the Giants. Um, after improving Josh Allen's accuracy in Buffalo, of course... A Chicago native, uh -huh. born and raised, uh, Chicago Bears. Matt Eberflus will get the best collective effort out of his team. Reality. I love this hiring so much. And the coach who's paid his dues, yes, these players will play hard. They may not be great, but they will play hard. Yeah. No, they're Back in 2011, when he came in with Cam Newton, and he pointed out the importance of the new head coach being tethered to the new quarterback coming in to get of Justin Fields. Yeah, you're talking about head coach, quarterback, both being new, and both two new prominent faces when it comes to the Denver Broncos. So uh, Nathaniel Hackett and Russell. Truly, really, truly. And then <laughs> and all the good and, still, and still coaches his daughter in hip hop. I tell <laughs> how quickly it's going to take for Hackett to be playing jump. Have you seen Sarah's new video? How quickly it's going to take for him to be playing jump in practice. I, I love I love this pairing. I got love a lot of homework. You're in Wilson. with the pop culture. Here there you go. I need some dance lessons. Okay, Miami Dolphins. Mike McDaniel will make the. Play. It's going to take for Hackett to be playing jump. Have you seen Sarah's new video? How quickly it's going to take for him to be playing jump in practice. I, got I love I love this pairing. I got love a lot of homework. Hackett You're in Wilson. with the pop culture. Here there you go. Things. I need some dance lessons. Okay, Miami Dolphins. Mike McDaniel will make the anniversary of the 1972 undefeated team in Toronto Armstead. All right, uh, let's go to the Las Vegas Raiders. Josh McDaniels will love working with Derek Carr. Look, it's, it's been a 12-year hiatus for Josh McDaniels. Team, Bro, yeah. I mean, it, it's just, I, I love the weapons that they have there. Uh, Hunter Renfro out of the slot. Of course, Darren Waller. He loves him. Yeah, he's a good man. This is a hard hitter. 
uh, Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> Kevin O'Connell will be found on the sidelines by TV cameras more frequently than <laughs> any other first year head coach. I will say reality. I mean, that's a very. <laughs> yeah, it also helps to have Justin Jefferson who had more receiving yards in his first. OK, I have one word for Trevor Lawrence. Molly. Welcome back to We Need to Talk. Nowhere in the country can you walk into a sports bar and be guaranteed to see women's sports on any TVs. If you're lucky, maybe. Welcome back to We Need to Talk. Nowhere in the country can you walk into a sports bar and be guaranteed to see women's sports on any TVs. If you're lucky, Mason and the NFL. I hope that's something we're saying about you, Swin, sometime in the near future. We've already put in it the, in the NBA. The right. We're going to tie this in a bow. Andrea said it off the top. Exactly. I love you. I love you. I love you uh, to support. If I, if I want to hold a position like this, and she's a boss. Like, don't no, don't make any mistake. I, she is qualified to run this organization. Yeah, that's what I think is really key. Look, the the Raiders have had the heard this a lot before, but she also said that I don't want to be the last. And I hope right. at some point we get done with talking about the first for as much as we love acknowledging it and celebrating it. Hopefully there will be a time when that's no longer the case. All right. We will see you next month.